Hey honey, I got my first question for Auntie Amanda's advice. I'm gonna read the email, but I'm changing the names, okay? And in the future, if you email me and you want me to do your advice, please let me know. Can I share your name? Can I read the email? And where did you find me? Okay, here we go. Should I stay friends or should I cut ties? Normally I would never do this, but I, even though I'm upset with him and I'm thinking of cutting ties, I wouldn't wanna do anything to potentially hurt him. I have a guy best friend, uh, Nick, who I've known and been really close to on and off since I was 18. I'm almost 32 now. Um, years, not close. I was in active addiction. I have almost eight years clean now. First of all, that is amazing. I am so proud of you. Eight years is a long time. Once you get past that first year, I've heard that it gets a little easier each year after that. So eight years is amazing and I am so proud of you. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if I can be friends with Nick anymore. I think I felt like I owed him or something for all the times he'd saved me from my ex's abuse over 10 years ago, which I will always appreciate. The fact of the matter is I have grown and matured and he has not. There's a lot of things that bother me when it comes to him. One of them being the burden he puts on his mom. He's in his early 40s living with his mom and the only reason he's working right now is because I set him up with it. Before that, it was excuses for months, more like a year, and he's been trying, but no one will hire him. He probably does some housework to help his mom, but probably not enough. Okay, first of all, somebody that doesn't treat their mother right is not somebody I want to be friends with. Okay, the fact that he's selfish and he's not helping her. You had, a, somebody else had to push him to get a job to help his mom, and he's living there rent free in his 40s? That's crazy. His parents are gotta be in their 60s. It's time for retirement. You'd think that they would want an empty nest. And I don't mean that as in a jerk way because sometimes we do have to move back in with our parents. I did it. I helped my mom out when my stepdad passed away. I just happened to be in a spot where I didn't, I needed to find somewhere to go. And so it worked perfectly. Sometimes it happens, it's okay. But this situation is not okay. That is taking advantage. Okay. Before that, it was excuses for months, more like a year, and he's been trying, but no one will help him. No one will hire him. He probably does some housework to help his mom. See, this doesn't make me feel very good either. He probably does some housework. That means he probably doesn't, and maybe once in a while he'll do the dishes or something. Again, that's not it. You have to contribute. If you're in a home, you need to contribute in some way. It doesn't have to be financially. It doesn't have to be... You figure it out your way, all right? Just figure it out your way. You have to contribute. You can't not contribute. You're a family. You're a cohesive unit that works together. It's not fair for one person to be doing everything. And it sounds like his mom's been doing everything for a long time, so let's keep reading. He probably does some housework to help his mom, but probably not enough. And he is always leaving his son in her care to go hang out with his friends or go to the bar. That's disgusting. Why is your mother watching your kids so you can go to the bar all the time? Especially if you weren't even working before and she's watching your child. Are you kidding me? Okay. He got some money from a family member who passed. He didn't really know the person. It was only a couple hundred dollars and I tried telling him several times to give it all or at least half to his mom. After all, she provides for herself, him, and his son. That's pathetic. She's literally like a single mom taking care of a grown-up and that grown-up's child. That is so unhealthy. I could see why you don't want to be friends and like you're not sure about cutting ties. This isn't okay. These are core values. That means he's not appreciating what his mother does for him. If he appreciated, he would have gave her money right away without thinking. He wouldn't have to say it. If he appreciated her, he would do the dishes without her having to ask. If he appreciated her, he would give her $200 a week for rent or something. Contribute somehow. He's not contributing. It's not enough. He sh She should not be raising his child. That's ridiculous. Might as well just kick him out and let grandma take care of the kid. It'd be so much easier for her. Ooh, sorry, this is making me angry. Um, after all, she provides for himself, herself, him, and his son. He didn't want it. He didn't want to because he wanted to use it for Christmas presents. Anytime he needs money, all he has to do is ask his dad. Early 40s, no license. It's been at least five years with no license. Where is this man going other than the basement? Literally, in, the, in his his mother's house. There's no drive to do better. How can you feel okay with that within yourself? 
And like not for nothing, what if he wants to have a girlfriend? Does he bring the girlfriend home? It's been at least five years with no license. I could never. Good. I couldn't either. I could never also live off my mom for free. Sorry, but food stamps doesn't count as contributing. Food stamps can count, but not in that aspect. That's not enough. That's absolutely not enough. Food stamps is not enough. Food is expensive right now. I'm scared to think how much I spend a month on food. It's ridiculous. The last time we hung out, he said something that irked me. Max, his son, was sick and said he said how he needs to avoid Max because he doesn't want to get sick. I called him out on it and I said how um how he should want to be there taking care of him. He tried twisting it around claiming if I if I get sick, I'll have to call out of work. Being a good dad is providing for my son. No, being a good dad is taking care of your child when your child is sick, not avoiding your child when they don't feel good and letting your mother take care of him. Because I bet you she goes to work when she's sick too. That's disgusting. Come on, kid. He's acting like a teenager. Like, I know teenagers that are way more mature than this. I called him out on it and said how he should want to be there taking care of me. Tried twisting it around. Okay, da, 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 da. If I'm sick, I can't provide for my son. I just got these hours. I can't call out. Not long later that same day, he was complaining about a two-hour shift, saying how stupid that is and how he wants to call out. Sir, do you not remember the BS you just told me about not wanting to call out? I knew he was full of shit. Maybe I'm just a harder worker and that's why it bothered me. No, honey, I'll tell you right now. You are a hard worker. You have ethics and you have values and moral values and morals and you follow them. Just because somebody helped you in the past doesn't mean you have to stick around with them for the rest of their life. Sometimes our friends are there for a reason, like for a short time versus a long time. Not everybody's meant to be in our life forever. And this person sounds like he is not trying to take care of himself. I haven't even finished reading this yet, but I'm telling you, you gotta ditch this friend. This is not a friend. This is someone that just leeches on to people, takes what they can get, you know, helps when they can, but does the bare minimum. This is a bare minimum. This is like below bare minimal. You'd Especially, I'm glad he's not your boyfriend or your husband or anything because <sighs> first it wasn't enough hours. I told him daily to mention it to his boss. He never would, but had the audacity to sit and bitch about it still. No, he just wants to complain. He's in his like divine feminine receiving era right now. It's ridiculous. Ugh, gross. Okay. And now a two hour shift is stupid and he wants to call out, like, just shut up and be thankful. Very true. A few days later, I forget why, but I was annoyed with him and wanted some space and me time. I like to isolate sometimes. That's totally okay. He got wasted and started blowing up my phone. I mean, voicemail, at least 10 missed phone calls and a bunch of back-to-back -back texts and one on Facebook Messenger, accusing me of prank calling him. I was sleeping. My son was in my room and heard my phone going crazy. He tried answering it, but Ended up bitch buttoning him. Whoops. <laughs> and that made it worse. He started telling me how messed up I was and being, how messed up I was and being, I was being and flat out blaming me even more than he was. I know it's you. That's so effed up. Like I said, I was sleeping. At this point, I don't even know if I want to continue our friendship. If he really thinks treating me that way and thinking because he was drunk and emotional makes it an okay excuse, no excuses. Sorry, but I am a take full accountability kind of person. Absolutely. Do not take any of his on. Take yours only. Leave his. It's okay. It's okay. You don't always have to be the bigger person. You don't. Oh, sounds like he's not a great dad either. I'm not going to read all this out because I feel like it's been pretty clear. I think you need to get rid of this person as a friend. And you can do it with kindness. You can ghost, do it however you feel is right. But honestly, if you guys are close, maybe send a text message being like, look, I really care about you. You're a great human being. I appreciate you for being there in the past. But as of right now, you're not working on yourself. And I can't sit around watching you ruin your life like this. There you go. And then just end it because he is draining so much out of you. You don't have to deal with that bullshit. You have a life that you have to take care of. You have your own child. He doesn't need to be your responsibility. He's not your responsibility. Thank him for what he gave you and send him out with love and light. Get rid of this one. I'm so sorry, honey. Thank you for letting me read this for, um, thank you for letting me read this and thank you for letting me talk about it. I really appreciate it. And now the cat wants to come in. Can you hear that? 
All right. If you want any questions answered and you need some advice, please email me, spiritualbarbie712 at gmail.com, and I will answer. And again, if you want to be anonymous, please write that in your email. Um, put your question in the email and let me know where you found me so I make sure I put it on the right platform. Thank you so much, guys. And I can't wait for the next one.